Hey guys, it's me Neeks and welcome back to my channel. So today I did this passion box braid style I guess. I think it's really really cute and it was super easy to do. It just took me a couple hours. It's really easy so if you guys are interested in this style and keep on watching but if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Alright so enough of me talking let's just go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so my hair is already washed and sectioned and it's being held together by um, rubber bands. Uh, my mom did mine for me, but you can do this yourself or have someone else do it for you, whichever one is easier. So now I'm just going to put some oil on my scalp. Um, all of the products will be listed in the description box, so don't worry. Um, I'm just putting this on my scalp because it is a protective style and you want to make sure your hair is protected. Next, we're going to be using some leave-in conditioner. And it's very this one is very liquidy, so I like that a lot. I didn't put too much because I didn't want my hair to revert back. But I'm just making sure that my ends are nice and moisturized. Next, I'm going in with some oil to seal that in seal to seal in that moisture i can't talk i can't tell you the last time i did a voiceover <laughs> anyway so yeah i'm just making sure that my hair is nice and moisturized okay so this is the brand here that i'm using um again everything will be listed in the description box and this is the braid in here that i'm gonna be using as well um i already did most of it off camera because it's just easier that way but i will zoom in so that you can see exactly how i did it but this is what it looks like all right so i'm starting off with this section i'm gently taking out my rubber band um, because my hair was nice and oily um i could just slide it down like really easy so wasn't a big issue make sure that you do this very gently if you use rubber bands now i'm just going to section comb out this section to make sure that it's nice and smooth and i'm going to use edge control this is the edge control that i'm using um you can use whatever edge control you prefer this isn't my favorite but it did do the job so i'm just applying that to the roots of my hair and making sure that it is nice and neat. So you're gonna start off with three sections just like you would if you were doing like a regular braid. And I usually start with my index finger and I hold Oh, this is a braid in here, sectioned off. Um, I use like two pieces of the water wave hair and a medium sized piece of um, braiding here. I'm sorry I didn't have a bigger piece of that clip. I was out of focus for most of it. Um, but anyway, um, I'll just let you guys look at what it is that I'm doing. So this is the size, the size of braid in here that I'm using. And I'm just going to make sure I do this nice and tight so that it's neat and your braid is not sliding, okay? So I, after I add the first piece, I, I braid like maybe um, two times until my index finger is back in front. And then I add the second piece. And then I continue to braid down for maybe like two, maybe like three or four um, times before I um, start adding in the curly hair. So each time I use four pieces of curly hair for um, each braid and 
the two you add it in just like you would with the regular braiding hair um what i did was um make sure that it was the two was uneven again i i don't know why i didn't think of putting it putting a clip of that in but just make sure that it's nice and uneven and then you just keep adding it in And you keep braiding, 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 braiding. And then you can tie a nut at the end or you can use a rubber band. I just used a rubber band because it was easier. And this is what it looks like. So when you're braiding, you don't want to braid too tight because you have to pull on your braid to get that um, fashion look, okay? If it's too tight, it's not going to pull apart um nicely or easily so i suggest braiding tight enough that your hair isn't sticking out but loose enough so that it's easy for you to pull on it like this and the more you pull the more um fluffy it's gonna look and also if you use more um water wave hair that would be better because it'll be extra fluffy but i only had two packs of the water wave hair and it i don't know what happened like i was running out so i could only use two i could only use four strands of braiding hair per um per braid but i wish i had an extra pack because i would probably use like six instead so it would be a bit more fluffy but you know you gotta work with what you have baby And guys, um, this was my first time doing this, so <laughs> I am teaching you guys what I teach myself, okay? And when I did the back row, it did take me a couple times to like um, get the hang of it in terms of like size and how much how much um, curly hair to use. So if you're doing this, maybe the density of your hair might be different from mine. So it's all trial and error, to be honest. So start from the back try it see what you like see if it looks the way you want it to look if not take it out because i had to take a couple of mine out too so just practice and you know you'll get better every braid i promise so i'm just gonna shut up now and let you guys look at what i'm doing You see, this one was a bit tight, so I was struggling a little bit to pull it apart. But um, just take your time. And also, um, be careful not to pull too much at the base or like um, the length of your hair because your hair will easily poke out because it definitely happened to me. So just be careful and how much you're pulling out. So again, you just start like you're braiding a regular braid and you just add the hair in. I usually add mine in under my index finger like every um, every three times that I, I braid or loop. I don't know how to explain braiding. God damn it. And then you braid down, I forgot to mention this, you braid, when you add the um, curly braid, the curly hair, you braid down for a little bit, then you add the other um, set of curly hair. Because you want the curly hair to be at the end of your um, braid. Don't just, 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 don't just
All right, so I'm done. I did not have any um, loose or anything. So I just left it like that. And then I'm going to trim the ends so that it was kind of even all the way around. You don't have to do that, that is optional. So now I'm just doing my edges. I took on a bit too much of my adult hairs, okay? Don't come for me. Mind your business, okay? <laughs> I took a little too much out, but that's not your business, okay? So I'm just doing my edges, tie my hair down, and that's it. So this is the final product. I hope you guys were able to follow along and you like this look. Please give this video a thumbs up and share if this could be helpful to not only you but someone else. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.